great game, great win. Um, uh, to finish 18 and 0 in the league of this magnitude, um, as we always talk about, you know, protecting a home court, um, and you like to get to this point. Um, my guys did a great job of setting the tone from start to finish. We knew it would be a tough game from an emotional standpoint. Senior nights are always kind of, for me, always been shaky the first, you know, five, ten minutes just because of the emotion, the energy behind it. Uh, and I thought we settled down and started playing some good basketball. But And the one thing about USC, uh, if you hadn't seen them play, uh, one of the fastest teams, especially with their guards, the quickness. Uh, if you don't see it every day in practice, you have to be ready to make that adjustment. And I thought after – you know, eight to ten minutes in the first half, we start to settle down a little bit and play some good basketball. But I mean, it's just a great win for our guys, and I'm happy for them. I thought he played well, but you know what? With our game plan, because they can shoot the three-point shot well. I think in most cases, they might have four guys on the floor can really shoot it. So we felt like if we would give up anything, it'd be the one-on-one -on -one post play because he doesn't really post up like that every time down. But our, our perimeter guys did such a good job, especially in the second half and late in the first half of really defending their perimeter actions. So what they did, they started going inside to him. And we take our chance because, again, if he's scoring the ball down low, they throw him down low, now you're taking away from what those perimeter guys normally do. Now they don't get the reps. And we felt like we'll take our percentage with him making one-on-one -on -one plays. And if he makes some plays, he makes some plays. But we can't allow those primitive guys to get in the rhythm and start going. Well, I just think what, what happens is Ty Tyrone is a, is a good basketball player. Um, Ty Tyrone is not the type of guy. He's a, score, he's a scoring point guard for us. He's not the type of guy that's going to walk out there and floor and just say, I'm, I'm averaging 10 assists. It's not his game. He's a guy, he'll get you know six or seven assists. He'll, he'll make plays. He'll get to the rim. He's, he can score the ball. He has good size, good length. And he makes basketball plays. He makes good decisions with the basketball. You know, it's just it's an adjustment. I, th I, it, I thought it was more of an adjustment for not only Tyrone, but all the returning guys. Uh, when you have two, two talented young guys come in, uh, you know, trying to find, everybody's trying to find their way. And you have returning guys. But then you also have, you know, Cameron is on board, to Steven Domingo. So you have so many new pieces uh, and just trying to make it work. But I thought he did a good job just being a leader. But, again, he's not a very vocal guy when he leads. He'll pull a guy to the side. And he'll say stuff, but he's not loud with it. He's not very boisterous with it. But I thought he, I thought he, I thought he did a good job with Justin. It's, again, it's not an easy thing to do because I, I watch <laughs> – I watched film. We played teams last year. Like, for example, I watched when we played UCLA last year just to kind of pick, pick things up and even USC. And there were plenty of times where guys were open and Tyrone would shoot the ball. But it was also because I said shoot the ball because that pass might not have been a good one. Uh, so, and, and it's funny when I watch film and I see that, it's like, man, he should have passed that ball. But again, his coach said shoot it. But I, I think he's grown as a basketball player uh, because he just wants to be a good player. Well, what happened is because he's probably the fastest guy on our team going that way with the basketball, just straight line going. So I just made the adjustment with, with Tyrone take it out and let Jalen go with it because he's coming at you full speed. It's, it's hard to really get in front of him unless you're fouling. Uh, and you have to make a decision. So now he's going full speed. It's 3.8 seconds. When you really slow down and think about it, it's a lot of time. And he made a layup off 3.8 seconds uh, if you just go fast. But again, when, when you have Jordan Jabari on wings, it's, it's, it's hard to leave those guys. And he's straight line driving. All you can do is really foul him. Uh, and he made a good play. Not at all. Not at all, because at the beginning of the season, we talked about uh, just whenever that presents itself, you make a decision, and again, it's not my decision. Uh, it's, it's their decision, and more important, it's the NBA's decision to say, okay, we, we project this or we assume this. And then you go from there because, I mean, they, they, they deal with enough of it. They see it, they read stuff, they hear about it, and that's part of it. But uh, they'll, they'll come a time when they have to sit down and make the right decision based on what's best for them and their families. But, no, we don't, we don't spend a lot of time talking about that because I, I've always said that is what it is, and it'll take care of itself. Oh, just say box out. That's all. I mean, just, I mean, just you know, box out, block out, or whatever, whichever one you want to say. We, I, I thought our bigs didn't do. Now, part of our bigs didn't do a very good job putting bodies on their bigs, but also, 
if you, if you watch it, their guards were turning the corners and our bigs had to help. And then they get it on the backside. And it was, it was really hard. We had one guy on the backside. This is a good play they run, but they have a shooter high. So when you drop, you got to make a decision. And it happened so fast. And once our guys settled down and, 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 and realized the speed in which they move, they made the adjustment. But, but we also told our big guys, if you make a play on the ball, then make a play. Because we weren't blocking a shot and we weren't getting the rebound. So we were losing on, losing on both ends. So you're either going to make a play and get a foul or get a block, or you hold your guy and box out. Yeah, I think so now. Um, but but what happens is I think again, when you're talking about two two guys that when Ivan and Jalen they become a part of your team, two talented young guys, but 18 and 19 years old, and there's a lot. If you look around the country, there's a lot at that age they have to learn. They have to grow, get stronger, uh, faster, understand the pace of the game, how hard you have to play. There's a lot of things involved. So again, I I knew they would take lumps. Uh, the hope as a staff with just our, our, our veteran guys, our returning guys, could keep us at bay enough as they learn and grow and go through it. Um, and so I, so I guess so at this point, you think you'd be this, this level of team, yes. But I, I knew early it'd be tough. Well, that's good. Hopefully, you stay consistent with that. Uh, and you know, it just—I I think what happens, he doesn't have the strength sometimes to really bang with certain guys, but he can face up and he can shoot the ball. I think the biggest thing with him is just trusting his shot because he has a good shot. He's really worked on his three-point shot. It's just being consistent with it and having the confidence to do it. Um, and again, I, I, I've always been a coach. I don't have a microphone in the guy's ear on offense. You have to be able to play and make plays. I, I can't tell you to shoot, catch, do. You have to play. Uh, he has to feel good when he's making decisions on the floor. It was good. I mean, his teammates are trying to give him the ball. But the thing we always talk about, um, because they work so hard in practice, and, and when you're talking about the guys that walk on it, the only, the only difference uh, when our team is a walk on, if somebody says he's a walk on, he's a scholarship guy. But everybody's treated the same. But the thing I always talk to our guys that, that play a lot, you owe it to these guys that work extremely hard in practice. They, come up, they get up at 6 a.m., work on their game. They watch film just like everybody else. So when you have opportunities to play and have success and, and, and get games to the score that, that this is, they deserve to play. And I think our guys, you know, lately have taken pride in that because that's important. They, they put the time into it. They want to be on the floor too. And they get upset when guys don't play well also. Uh, you know, we, we, we'll be ready to play. We're talented enough. We'll be ready to play. It's a great environment. It's a great team, a great program. Uh, but we'll be ready to go. Um, but obviously, you got to sit down and watch film. But the most important thing right now is to celebrate this one tonight. Try to give me some sleep and move forward. Jalen and Ivan both kind of spoke about the development of Roman Davis. Can you talk a little bit about how he's developed over the course of the season and what you expect from him in future seasons? Well, he's an, he's an athlete. Uh, he's an athlete. He can run. He can jump. He has a level of toughness to him, maybe six, seven and a half. He probably need to get about 10 more pounds on. He's picked up weight already. If we can get 10 more piles on with his quickness and his athleticism, I think he can, he can really help us. I think he can be a good player in our program. Yeah. You have a lot of scoring weapons, but it seems like defense is more of your signature. How do you get all those scores to buy into defense? Well, one, they have to see it um, and believe that defense can, can help you be a successful team. Because you look at early in the year and up until now, it's there was a lot of things we had to work on, but we didn't defend at a high level. We didn't we didn't play as hard. We might have did it five minutes here in Spurs, but we didn't. We're in a very physical, very tough team. Um, but they understand uh, when you defend at a high level, here's the here are the results behind it. If you're consistent with, it. and I think that's what they see. And I, I've always been a defensive guy. I love to score the ball. And I think if you can score, you can score. I mean, if you can make plays, you can make plays. But not everybody's willing to play defense. I think that's a level of pride and a level of toughness.